Welcome back, gaming enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the intriguing world of ByteDance, the tech titan behind the global sensation TikTok. Founded in 2012 by Shang Yiming and Liang Rubo, ByteDance rapidly emerged as a formidable player in the internet technology domain. This Beijing-based giant, known for reshaping social media dynamics, ventured beyond its TikTok fame, boasting a staggering 1.9 billion monthly active users across its platforms by mid-2021. But ByteDance's ambitions stretched further. The company's first leap into the gaming world began with Nuverse in 2019. Pioneering this new terrain, they launched Warhammer 40,000, Lost Crusade in 2021, marking their first major international gaming venture. The acquisition of Moonton, a key player in the mobile esports arena, further solidified their commitment to gaming. However, despite their grand entrance and promising starts, like Marvel Snap in 2022, ByteDance's journey in gaming faced its unique set of challenges and turns. Today, we delve into the twists and turns of this tech behemoth's gaming chapter. So, buckle up as we explore ByteDance's roller coaster ride in the gaming industry. In the ever-evolving landscape of tech and entertainment, ByteDance, primarily known for its global phenomenon TikTok, made a strategic foray into the gaming sector. It all started back in 2017, when ByteDance first dipped its toes into the gaming world, initially focusing on casual games. These games, less demanding in terms of development and capital, were just the beginning of what would soon become a much more significant endeavor. Recognizing the potential in the gaming industry, ByteDance doubled down on its gaming aspirations. In 2019, they established Newverse, a dedicated division for both the development and publishing of video games. Newverse wasn't just another corporate branch, it symbolized ByteDance's ambition to carve out a significant space in the gaming realm. ByteDance's vision for Newverse was to create a global gaming ecosystem leveraging its vast user base and expertise in content creation and distribution. ByteDance aimed to make a substantial impact on the lucrative mobile gaming market. Yet, the journey wasn't without its challenges. Despite the company's robust backing and strategic moves, Nuverse struggled to produce blockbuster titles that could compete at the top levels of the gaming industry. Its portfolio included games like Flower, an ancient Chinese-style noble school development game, and One Piece Blood Routes, a 3D action mobile game. However, as of October, none of these titles had made it to the top 10 grossing mobile games globally, a stark contrast to the achievements of their rivals Tencent Holdings and MiOYO. This endeavor was part of ByteDance's broader strategy to find new growth avenues in the once-booming gaming industry. However, as noted by analysts, success in the gaming industry isn't just about generating traffic, it requires masterpieces that resonate with audiences both domestically and internationally. ByteDance's bet on video gaming while ambitious, face the complex realities of an industry where creating a hit game involves much more than just technological prowess and market reach. Newverse, the gaming arm of ByteDance, has had an eventful journey since its establishment in 2019. Positioned as a flagship studio, Newverse was ByteDance's bold statement in the gaming world, aimed at leveraging its massive social media user base to challenge giants like Tencent in the gaming arena. From the outset, Newverse's mission was ambitious, to create hardcore games that, while requiring significant investment, had the potential to generate steady revenues and establish ByteDance as a major player in the gaming industry. However, ByteDance found its greatest success in smaller, casual games that primarily generated revenue through advertising. Newverse's portfolio included titles like Eden No Tabira, Strike Royale, and Arena of Evolution, Red Tides. Despite their promise, these games struggled to reach the lofty heights of success enjoyed by the likes of Tencent's Honor of Kings, one of the world's top-grossing online games. Nevertheless, Newverse's potential to eventually produce a hit game remained a topic of interest among industry observers, given ByteDance's extensive resources and the experience of its development team. In a strategic move to bolster its production capabilities, Newverse acquired several external studios, including developer and publisher Mooton Technology and Chinese developer C4 Games in 2021. This expansion underscored ByteDance's commitment to developing top-tier games and building a global gaming community. ByteDance's gaming strategy took a page from Tencent's playbook, funneling social media traffic into games to create monetization opportunities. By the end of 2020, ByteDance had approximately 2,000 gaming developers, doubling the number from the previous year. This aggressive hiring spree demonstrated the company's serious intent to carve a niche in the highly competitive but profitable gaming business. However, ByteDance's reorganization in 2019, which positioned Nuverse as one of its six key business units, also highlighted the challenges it faced. Despite its high ambitions and the launch of a standalone website for Nuverse, showcasing its commitment to gaming development, the division had yet to produce a commercial blockbuster. 
Newverse's journey in the gaming industry has been a blend of ambitious expansion, strategic acquisitions, and yet, a struggle to produce a title that resonates globally. It's a narrative that reflects the complex nature of the gaming market, where even companies with vast resources and a strong user base must navigate a path fraught with challenges to achieve success. To understand the broader context of the gaming industry during the time ByteDance was active, particularly from 2017 to 2023, it's crucial to look at the trends, competitors, and market dynamics that shape this landscape. Industry growth and trends The gaming industry witnessed significant growth during this period, with projections indicating an increase from $344.33 billion US dollars in 2023 to $345.88 billion US dollars by 2028. This growth was fueled by continuous technological advancements, enhancing both game creation and the overall gaming experience. The pandemic-induced lockdowns also played a role, as many turned to gaming platforms for entertainment, resulting in a surge in players and revenue. Rising internet connectivity and mobile gaming The increasing adoption of smartphones, coupled with high bandwidth network connectivity like 5G, significantly boosted the demand for mobile gaming globally. By 2022, the number of mobile players reached 2.7 billion, with RPG leading in terms of in-app purchase spending. This era also saw the evolution of free-to-play games, with new monetization models like Play and Own emerging in 2023. Cloud Gaming and Multiplayer Engagement Cloud gaming services, leveraging hyperscale cloud capabilities and streaming media services, were anticipated to positively impact market growth. These services allowed for increased engagement among multiplayer games, pointing towards a future where cloud technology played a crucial role in gaming market dynamics. Dominance of the Asia-Pacific Market In 2022, the Asia-Pacific region held the highest market share in gaming. Countries like China and Japan were significant contributors, with popular games like Honor of Kings and Genshin Impact. Despite regulatory challenges, including crackdowns on playtime and restrictions on gaming licenses, the region remained a hotbed for mobile gaming, contributing to a significant portion of global gaming revenue. Impact of VR and R Technologies The use of virtual reality and augmented reality technologies significantly impacted the gaming industry. Devices like Oculus Rift and HTC Vive allowed players to immerse themselves in virtual worlds, while our games like Pokemon Go blended digital content with the real world. These technologies were pivotal in driving the industry's growth and opened new opportunities for game developers and publishers. In this competitive and rapidly evolving market, ByteDance's entry and subsequent activities in the gaming industry were ambitious. The company faced stiff competition from established giants like Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo, and especially Tencent. The challenge for ByteDance was not just in creating appealing games but also in carving out a space in an industry where technological innovation, user engagement, and content quality were critical for success. The market dynamics during this period were marked by rapid growth, technological advancements, and a significant shift towards mobile and cloud-based gaming, factors that would have influenced ByteDance's strategy and performance in the gaming sector. ByteDance officially announced its decision to restructure and retreat from the mainstream video gaming market, specifically winding down its Newverse gaming brand. This decision came after a comprehensive review of its gaming business. ByteDance did not provide specific details about the reasons behind this move, but stated that it regularly reviews its businesses and makes adjustments to focus on long-term strategic growth areas. The performance of Newverse had been inconsistent since its establishment in 2019, although Newverse launched games like Marvel Snap which gained a cult following, it did not achieve significant commercial success. Other titles from Newverse, including One Piece, The Voyage and Crystal of Atlant, also did not make a substantial impact in the gaming market. This patchy performance was a likely factor in the decision to restructure. The restructuring is expected to affect hundreds of employees, with plans to stop work on unreleased games and look for ways to divest from titles already launched. ByteDance indicated it has no plans to return to the $185 billion global video games market. However, this retreat from gaming does not affect its casual gaming brand Oheyu or the casual games featured on TikTok. Additionally, ByteDance had begun seeking buyers for its game development subsidiary Mooton Technology and overhauled its virtual reality company Pico, reducing much of its content team. This retreat from mainstream gaming reflects the challenges ByteDance faced in making a significant impact in a highly competitive and dynamic industry, especially against major players like Tencent Holdings. The decision to restructure suggests a strategic pivot towards areas where the company sees more potential for long-term growth. ByteDance's decision to retreat from the gaming industry and restructure its gaming division, Newverse, is likely to have several implications for the gaming market. Impact on employees and talent movement 
The restructuring involves significant job cuts at Nuverse, affecting nearly 2,000 employees. Some employees might transfer to other teams within ByteDance, but many will likely be laid off. This could lead to a shift in talent within the gaming industry, as these experienced individuals may join other gaming companies or start new ventures, potentially influencing game development trends and innovation. Effects on the competitive landscape ByteDance's retreat could provide opportunities for other gaming companies to fill the void, especially in markets where ByteDance had a presence. Competitors like Tencent and NetEase, already dominant in the Chinese gaming market, might strengthen their positions further. Additionally, the sale of ByteDance's gaming assets, such as Mooton Technology, could lead to strategic acquisitions by other gaming firms, reshaping the competitive dynamics in the industry. Influence on market trends and gaming investments ByteDance's exit from mainstream gaming signifies a notable shift in investment trends within the industry. It reflects the challenges and risks associated with the gaming market, particularly in regions with strict regulatory environments like China. This could lead to more cautious investment approaches by other tech companies considering entering the gaming sector. Additionally, ByteDance's focus on its remaining casual gaming brands suggests a potential shift in market focus towards less regulated gaming segments wider industry implications in China and beyond. The gaming industry in China, already facing regulatory challenges and market stagnation, might see further consolidation as a result of ByteDance's retreat. The company's decision underlines the difficulties in navigating China's regulatory environment, which could discourage other multinational companies from entering the market. However, this could also lead to a redirection of investments and focus towards other growing gaming markets in Southeast Asia and beyond. In summary, ByteDance's retreat from the gaming industry is a significant development, potentially affecting employment, competition, investment trends, and the overall gaming ecosystem, especially in China and regions where Nuverse had established a presence. The future of Nuverse and ByteDance in the gaming industry is subject to speculation, but several possibilities can be considered. Nuverse's prospects, Nuverse, post-restructuring, may continue to operate in a reduced capacity focusing on casual gaming or other niche areas that align with ByteDance's broader strategic goals. The sale of certain titles and assets could pave the way for Nuverse to pivot towards different segments of gaming or digital entertainment. ByteDance's strategic focus ByteDance may shift its focus to other areas of digital entertainment and technology where it has stronger competencies and market positions. This could include expanding its existing social media platforms, exploring new AI-driven content areas, or venturing into emerging technologies like virtual reality and augmented reality. Potential re-entry into gaming While ByteDance has indicated no plans to return to the mainstream gaming market, it's possible that future market conditions or technological advancements could prompt a re-evaluation of this stance. If the regulatory environment becomes more favorable or if new, lucrative opportunities arise in gaming, ByteDance might consider re-entering the market, potentially through strategic partnerships or new business models that align with its strengths in content and social media. Long-term growth areas ByteDance's decision to restructure Nuverse suggests a commitment to focusing on long-term growth areas. This might involve leveraging its vast user data and AI capabilities in sectors where it can achieve more sustainable and less regulatory-heavy growth. In conclusion, while ByteDance's immediate future in gaming seems limited to smaller, less resource-intensive projects, the rapidly evolving digital landscape could present new opportunities for the company to reinvent its approach to gaming or related fields in the future. In conclusion, ByteDance's decision to retreat from mainstream gaming and restructure its Newverse division marks a significant shift in its business strategy. Initially poised to be a major player in the gaming industry, ByteDance faced challenges in competing with established giants and navigating a complex regulatory environment. This move reflects the dynamic and highly competitive nature of the gaming industry, where success requires not just technological innovation but also strategic market positioning. Now, I'd like to hear from you. What do you think about ByteDance's decision to step back from the gaming industry? Do you see this as a strategic pivot focusing on their strengths, or a retreat in response to market pressures? Share your thoughts and predictions about how this could shape the future of ByteDance and the gaming industry at large. Let's discuss.